Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous evening here in the end times. So we are hanging out at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And uh, we were on the mainstream media news here on Friday night. It is a Friday evening. January. January. Yeah, January. There we go. Uh, I think it is July 28th, 2023. I have opened up the mainstream media for the first time today uh, and found the number one story on the planet. Corona panic is back. Corona panic is back. How worried should people be? We're going to let Sancho Panza... answer the question how worried should people be it's not so how worried should people be that corona panic is back the chip is back that was a no that's the hummingbird is back the hummingbird is back who's that little hummingbird I don't know about that hummingbird. Sancho Panza. Corona panic is back. Corona panic appears to be returning in some parts of the U.S. with wastewater analysis. Do you know what wastewater analysis is, little dog? That's where they they go through people's shit. <clears throat> In the San Francisco Bay Area and Los Angeles showing increasing levels of the virus. That the risk of getting infected is still fairly low. So Sancho Panza, how worried should people be? That corona panic is back. Joe Biden promised us, Sancho. Do you remember on May 11th that Joe Biden promised us Corona panic was gone? There is no more Corona panic. Joe Biden sold us on May 11th. No more Corona panic. And here we are. July 28th and it's back. How worried should we be? How worried should people be? So another thing, little dog, I wanted to ask you. You know, all of these articles about the aliens coming to kill us all, the space aliens coming back to kill us all, uh, that's gotten uh, all this new attention. What do you think uh, the our fellow Earthlings would say if uh, they were asked, who would you rather deal with? Would you rather deal with these space aliens coming to kill humans? Or would you rather deal with the humans themselves? Well, I know your way. I know your answer. You would be fucked without humans. Little dogs would be fucked without humans. Little dogs would not exist on the planet without humans. But every other species of earthling. So you're a bonobo and you get a, uh, a bonobo looking at your future in a stew pot in a sub-Saharan African with a carbon footprint of a tea kettle uh, cranking up the stew pot and looking at you and your children would you rather, if you were a bonobo, Sancho Panza, would you rather deal with humans or space aliens here to kill every fucking human on the planet? Who would you rather deal with? Humans or human killing space aliens? Yes. 
Oh, God, I got to get out there and mow the fucking grass. What else we got? The, uh, okay, the number two story on the planet, U.S. orders non-emergency personnel to leave Haiti. <laughs> Here is cac number three, cactus at a botanical garden in Phoenix cannot take the heat. Number four, legal action initiated after SpaceX Texas rocket launch. And the fifth biggest story on the planet, major highway buckles amid scorching heat wave in the Midwest. <clears throat> How are you weathering the scorching heat wave? Uh, that's what I thought. You're you're weathering the scorching heat wave by hiding out underneath the tiny house. Is that how you're weathering the scorching heat wave? All right. So I will. Uh, I'm gonna go weather the scorching heat wave by cranking up my gas sucking lawnmower. I thought that my gas sucking lawnmower was dead. Uh, several days ago the. The gas-sucking lawnmower appeared to blow up, and I could not start the gas-sucking lawnmower. I could not start the gas-sucking lawnmower, and uh, so today I was I got the gas-sucking lawnmower out of the garage to put it on my truck to uh, you know to to take it to the gas-sucking lawnmower graveyard, essentially. And I decided, okay, I'm going to give it five more yanks on that goddamn cord. The first yank, the gas-sucking lawnmower cranked right back up. Okay, little doggy, you ready to go? Crank up the gas-sucking lawnmower right out. Corona panic is back. How worried should people be? <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Get a fucking life. Get a fucking life. You fear-strangled, pathetic little sheeple. Bye, guys.